Hey Scorpio, uh, <laughs> this is Brandy from Brandy's Story and I Tarot. Uh, welcome back if you're returning. This is for March, the beginning of March 2019. Um, all my description boxes filled with how you can contact me for more general energy read. I'm, I'm a very anxious with your energy. Okay, I was in the middle of it and uh, I got a phone call. So I have to like start over. I've pulled these cards as you can see. Like, I was, like, in-depth here, and it got cut off. So, let's start over. <laughs> this is not gender bias; it's gender neutral. All right. So, it's going to be probably shorter for you because I was in the middle of it, and I've got the clear vision. You have a king of swords, a queen of pinnacles, a five of wands, a three of wands, but he is more of a magician in my vice versa deck because he's holding the orb of enlightenment, the yin and yang. I want to show you. It's the opposite side and the vice versa. This is the normal one, but he's still holding the orb, surveying his land. This one, he's already made that choice. It's in his hand. It's very powerful. It's the ace of wands and the magician. I feel that card is very powerful, all right? With the Legacy of Light. Now, I'm pointing these cards out mainly because it's the path that you're choosing, that you are being guided towards, okay? You already have the choice in your hand. Um, I had a very clear vision right before this phone call of uh, some... I, I, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Someone in a partnership has cheated... You feel is a very sneaky behavior, whether on your part or their part. You need to go count to counseling because there is love there. You need to give it a chance. All right? That's very specific for someone out there. And you're very anxious about this choice. Like, do you stay or do you go? But there is freedom in the choice that you're going to make, okay? I cannot tell you what choice that you can make, but there is freedom in the one that you are leaning more towards, okay? Because I got falcons, birds, and a positive outcome with the chariot in this card and the hierophant, okay? Um, you've been asleep, kind of in a trance. Even though you're holding the key, you're resting on the moon, You've got the house on your head, okay? There is passion here. There is love here. You have the key. You just have to awaken, my love. And you're moving out of the conflict. You're moving out of the conflict because this is the guided path for you. The one that you are mainly leaning towards, this choice, for a job, love, creative endeavor, okay? You have to, this is for the masses. This is the guided path that you need to get. You need to take the Hierophant under the three and the five. You are looking for the guidance. This is change. This is enlightenment. Asking for it, you shall receive. Okay, they're giving it to you. The white rose is what stood out to me when I asked for clarification here. The white rose and of the emperor and temperance, uh, the yin and the yang stood out. All right. When you make the choice that you are more leaning towards, you're going to get clarity. You're going to feel balanced. Okay, there's balance here. You're you're pouring out the thought process. Okay, which is good. These are good. These are standing, standing in the power. You are emotionally drained, but birds here. There's birds in these cards. I want to point that out. Movement, birds, freedom, clarity, keys, okay? There is a perfect balance here. Your ancestors are guiding you on this path. Look, it's just like a straight path to light. Ancestors way before you are saying this is the path that you need to take uh, for almost like a, a, re, a reborn freedom. So whatever choice you have in your hand that you are leaning more on, that's the one that you need to take. 
because it's very prevalent in your head and that's why you are like anxious about it. My hands were like shaking. You're anxious about it, but that's the one that you need to take. The one that you've been more heavily weighing on, you know? There's movement, there's there's greatness in this. There's stability in that decision. The one that you are leaning more towards on, there is greatness and stability in that. Even though you feel like you have weathered the war, you will feel at peace. You will feel at peace once you make that decision, standing in your power with the emperor in temperance. Okay? You've been through it. You have already... In the Ace of Cups, that's where I was getting at when I got the phone call. It's a emotionally fulfilling offer. It is balanced. You are at peace. You are at balance. Everything is blooming, and yet again, there are more birds in this. There is freedom in the choice that you are going to make, Scorpio. Okay? There is no death here. There is only movement and stability in the choice that you are holding very firmly in your hand. All right, you have the tools in front of you. So I keep looking, just keep hearing noises. I do apologize. I think that's more of your anxiety that I'm picking up here. There is freedom, enlightenment. It is your chosen path. And like I said, I can't, I can't pick up that path for you. This is for the general mass. All right, people watching me. But whatever choice is in your hand, be it insa it feels insignificant to you. They told me to point that out. This choice almost feels insignificant to some people, but it's actually like a major choice for you. That's where it starts to lead you down a path. Like I said, I get tons of messages here. That one was very general for someone. And then this one just popped through. It's all about a choice all about the path to freedom and that that one that just popped through it's like you feel it's almost insignificant of a choice like it really doesn't matter but it does it does that's where it leads you down the path i feel a little bit of anxiety and and, and ugh, nervous tension and i've not had that much coffee <laughs> right I'm hoping the angel postcard will give us a little more insight. I like them because they always blow my mind when I pick one for it's insanity. Can you clarify temperance in the Ace of Cups for my Scorpio, please? Spirits and light. I keep seeing... Four of Swords. Ah. I haven't started. And Justice. Sorry, Justice keeps coming out too. So you need to make a just decision. You need to balance the scales, which is what temperance and everything is just backing this up. Whatever you're going to make is your path, and that's going to balance you out and give you freedom. It's going to awaken you spiritually and make you feel at peace. Like you're coming. There's movement. It's way too many. <laughs> Alright, so. These keep falling out together. <laughs> you're coming out of the Nine of Cups. You are, you're going to stop hanging on to something. Because you realize that change is inevitable. That's what I get from this in the reverse. That's clarifying temperance in the Ace of Cups. With the Six of Wands, with passion, clarity, communication, you are making the decision with your intuitive ability, Scorpio. Which leads you to the balance, to the wish fulfillment. It's a party. Let's celebrate. I love you. Here, here's my cup. That's what I get off that. Coming out of the Nine of Swords. That's, I think this is more if you don't make the choice. If you stay in this too long. Look at the fog. I like her eyes. 
we have the Ace of Coins and the Fool. The next two cards. It's a stable choice. Take the leap. Pack your bag. Take that wand. Put your clothes on it. And go. Alright. I want to... I want the postcard now. I'm sorry if that was hard to follow. There's so many things. I'm ADHD too. And I open myself for the energy. It gets a bit much sometimes, man. And I feel like it's very anxious and scattered. Seriously, wait. Can you please give me more general guidance for this message in front of me? For my Scorpio. Beginning of March 2019, please. Please, what is this anxiety about? What is this anxiety about? There's so much major arcana on this for you, so I'm saying. It may feel like a very insignificant thing to other people. But it's very important for you, for your path, Scorp. Maybe a little bit of turmoil after this choice, but you'll come out abundant, free. <sighs> Dear you, oh my, things are stirred up and changes upon you. So I just want to say, these things always blow my mind with the, with the readings. This is ca cause for celebration. <laughs> what I say. It's like a party. No need to be nervous. <sighs> I can't help but cuss sometimes, right? It's like I have so much anxiety, nervous energy over here for you. No need to be nervous. But know that it's okay to be afraid when facing with the uncertainties of life. The funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear. It doesn't. Rather, in spite of it, or even because of it, step into the unknown now with the fool. Right? Let go of the branch you are clinging to, and let spirit take the wheel, chariot, and help steer you to your highest good. Oh, I'm so weird. And most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said? Take one step toward the gods and they will take ten toward you. We all, we're all doing the destiny cha-cha on your behalf. That's right. Don't be afraid to dance. That's what I'm saying. It like, it always like backs up. It's just insane. I just had to have these cards because it always backs up the message that I'm trying to display. Okay? Someone has the choice they're leaning on and that is your chosen path and you are super nervous about it and you don't need to be. The one you are more heavily laying on, Scorpio, is the one you are supposed to take, my love. I need to get out of this nervous energy, though. You keep me looking around and stuff. I am anxious and nervous, and that is someone's energy out there, all right? Uh, I love you. I'll catch you on the, like, uh, water signs and then the end of March readings, all right? <laughs> catch you on the flip side. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Please comment. I need to know who the hell this resonated with, and it helps me help other people, okay? Give a little more guidance. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Catch you on the flip.